Okay, I'm all set up to do this pour for the Peter rings that we've been, I've been working on. And uh, I just thought I'd tell you what the plan is. Over here is my vacuum pump. And it's set over here to these two pieces of flexi. And this is what I turn on top of my vacuum chamber to make a vacuum in there. And then I just put a hole through this plexi, put some weather stripping around it to seal it, put it on top of there. And then here's a piece of silicone. I actually bought this somewhere, I'm not sure where. And it has a hole in it. And then I'll put my flask, which I'm just using a tin can, right on top of there. Turn on the vacuum to pull the vacuum down. And my flasks are burning out in my commercial oven. Just kidding. I picked that up at, at um, one of the uh, thrift places for seven bucks. Probably paid too much for it because it didn't even have any shelves in it. But don't need any shelves for what I'm doing. And here's my pewter heating up in my Lee melting pot. I'll pour it at about 500 degrees and it's getting there pretty quick. Definitely getting there quick. Okay. Skim off the crap on top of it. There's the uh, flask. Like I said, it's just a tin can. Burned out. Hopefully it's burned out enough. I'm going to put the face mask on just in case it's not. So I'll be shielded from anything. Turn on the vacuum pump. Huh. I think... My cord must not be working. I guess that's something you should check before you <laughs> plug it in. There we go. And I just lift the whole pot up and pour it. bubbling or anything, so that probably means it's burnt out pretty well. Here we go, the first flask. Just gave it a little tiny sizzle and that's it. so far. Okay, here's the results of some rings that I made using this process. This is a flower ring I made for my daughter. Another flower ring. And a band that I made for my actually daughter. the band that was in the flask that I showed as it came out of the water.